<laughs> Give me a page number, one of you. Uh, 27. Piper's Alley Theater was dark and quiet, almost spooky. The escalators weren't on, so we trudged up their steep metal steps all the way to the fourth floor. It felt strange to see the training center lobby so in. Normally the place was buzzing with dozens of students. Something about the stillness of this familiar place, usually so full of noise and energy, made me feel solemn. It was very important somehow. <laughs> Great. That's enough. <laughs> Good book. This place is unbelievable, it's just as you told me. Well, it's um, usually fuller. It's it's filled with people, but today, being a holiday, it's somewhat empty, which is why I picked it. So, I will do some act for you, in front of you, and you can decide if I can be part of the play. Yeah, I, I prepared a couple of lines uh, from, uh, from, from a play. Uh -huh. um, uh, here we go, here we go. All right, let me see what you got. Okay. Tragedy, said mother, in a purr that make me think of rasping scorpions. Pain, terror, show, show. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, oh, okay, now, now he's afraid, and that's good. Yeah. But he's also determined. Yes. Determined to find Edna. Yes, Etna. This is this is the most important thing in his life, and certainly for the play. So, although he's fearful, he must overcome it. I think. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. So I, I will do it. Okay. Hey. Lights up. Hey. There are sorrow. Why should I prevent such things? Etna. Yes. That's all that counts. That. I'm not exactly sure. I, I've never heard that before in here. <laughs> it's a joke, yeah? <laughs> There's someone there. <laughs> I, I thought we were alone. I didn't think there was no. anybody here. Uh, you, you stay here. I stay and, here. Uh, yeah, and keep all the lights on. And I'm going to check the uh, backstage and the green room. And uh, Yes, I continue. I continue. Yeah? Oh, okay, do whatever you need to do. I'll, I'll be right back. You just have to get in the mood, yeah? The only way to kill an immortal is at certain specific places. And you know one? Do you know one? Do you know a place where to kill an immortal? <laughs> Richard? Richard? Richard, are you there? Oh, this is a joke, man. Come on, come on, this is not funny anymore. I'd like to do a good audition for you. Richard! Richard? I found this old poster. Look at it, it's from a show, like, maybe a hundred years ago. Etna was playing. No. Yeah. The lead star of the show, Etna, was found dead in the basement. She was just 25 years old. And the star of the show a very big and promising career in front of her. Okay, okay, you've heard her, haven't you? Haven't you? That's what I thought. You, 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 you know. She's an immortal. You know about that? Of course. Where do you think this play came from? It's based on truth. There's all good plays should be. Okay, I don't know what to say, Richard. Uh... You have brought him to me at last. I would need revenge. His grand grandfather is the one that killed me. So, what do you want me to do, Edna? Give him the job, and when he's on stage, he will find his final fate. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Look, I'm ready. I'm ready for the 
for the first for the first show. Look, how do you look? How do you look? You've already got your costume, eh? Yeah. <laughs> you understand there's a reason why this play is set in nineteen twenty three? Why do you think that is? Why do you think it's set in nineteen twenty three? I don't know. It's, uh... Why do you think it's called Edna? The real Edna died in 1923 in this theater dating someone. Can you imagine who that might be? Wasn't your great great grandfather an actor? He was. And isn't that why you, you told me? You told me that's why you wanted to pursue acting because of him. He was very, very famous, actually. He was even on, on Broadway at certain points. I have photos from him, a newspaper's article from him. He, I, I never met him, but he was always my, my, my big yeah, example. I told him he was doing amazing stuff, and yeah, that was my inspiration of becoming an actor as well. Can you imagine what he might have been doing in 1923? Well, can I know, Richard, what he was doing in 1923? Is it possible that he was premiering a brand new play? called Edna. Your great-great-grandfather was involved with Edna in this very theater in 1923. I don't find that, but I find something from December 1922. Scandal on Broadway. Yeah. Henry Thompson, that's actually my great-great-great-father, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, it has been said he has an affair with Edna, starring in a the theater play, although he's, he's married. Um, according to him, it's they're only just rumors spread by the press, and nothing is true. They they expect also to interview Edna because she has things to say. What but, if it were true? What if all those rumors were true? Can you imagine how Edna feels now? Do you want to see me? I want to see you, yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, because I need to know the truth about my grand-grand-grandfather. You look so much like Henry. You look, you look beautiful. <laughs> this is just an image. Tell me the truth. Were you killed by him? Yes. He killed me because... I loved him very much. He promised he would marry me. And then I discovered he was already married. But he kept coming. He kept coming to see me. And then I said to him, you've been lying to me. And then he threw things at me. And finally... He took me by the neck, and this happened in this theater. In the basement? In the basement. I'm so sorry, Edna. I... Can I say it? It's, I'm ashamed, but he did. He was always my big example. He became the type of person I always wanted to become myself. <laughs> a star, you know, the dead, admired by everyone. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I didn't know. Edna, would you give us, Mark and I, permission to write a film script about your story? Well, you, you'd be famous as well. You'd be famous for years. You will say based on a true story in the beginning of the movie. Ba based on a true story. I mean, this play is almost there. We just flesh it out. Exactly. I, Edna, you could be a star again. You would be on the lips of everyone in the world. Yes. Well, it would benefit both of us as well. I mean, we're not just being altruistic here. I mean, this, this could be a great thing for Mark and I. Yeah. We'll launch our careers play a movie and we will show what my grand-grandfather did. 
and that it was not okay, and that he has built his entire career on 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 on, on a murder. But you could be a consultant. You tell how Edna should play you. And we could give you producer credit, although that would be very weird as people read it, but we could do it. Yeah. You can yeah. tell me everything about my grand grand grandfather and how he was, what he did, good and bad, and, and I, I can I can play my grand 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 grandfather, don't you think so, Richard? Yeah, I do. And Edna, just maybe it's not about revenge. I mean, Edna, maybe it's about release. Maybe it's about not having to spend eternity in a broken down theater. Hi, I'm going away now. Okay. Bye. Bye. Well, Mark, I guess you weren't exactly expecting that when you came up here, were you? <laughs> The film is done. I can now have a rest.